Ralph McQuarrie is the unsung hero who inspired the visual style that we've come to know as Star Wars. Before his uh, paintings were published, I don't think many people really understood that there was such a thing as a concept artist. Macquarie, I think, in some ways framed everything that's outer space. He gave you a sense of what that technology was. Seeing how everything was weathered and, and worn and just gave a, a, a tangible sense of realism. Everything he was drawing was out of the world at that time. You know, I was like, wow, man, this is so cool. Like, I, I want to draw like this. His drawings tell so much. I mean, even some of the simple just line drawings that he does, there's so much character and personality in those. I love conceptual artwork because in many ways, it kind of has a certain freedom of expression about itself. In his case, it felt like they were really exploring how they wanted to visualize their galaxy. And I think that when you're translating things from 2D media to 3D media, our approach here is to be as faithful to what he was reaching to achieve. Our design process with the fifth scale statues specifically, we're trying to look at the whole broad scope of all the art that he did and try to find what we thought was the main iconic look to that character. We're looking to start right out the gate with Vader, Boba Fett, and Stormtrooper. They definitely complement one another and expand on what the sort of empire view of what Ralph McQuarrie envisioned for Star Wars. And you can see that if you were to put Vader in the center of the two on either side, you'd, you'd get that sense that they go together. We try to get the same hues and the tones just to keep true to the artwork. You want it to give it depth and, and realism. So you want to try to use directional lighting and try to try to create a highlight or shadows. You know, when you paint that way, it's like, wow, that looks really cool, you know, because you could turn off the light and now it, it still looks like there's light on it. For six scale, we're starting out with Darth Vader and seeing how the fans react to that. If they respond to it well, awesome. We have Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper. You can put it into whatever position you want or whatever pose you want. You can try to make the exact scene or the exact piece of art that Ralph did. And you get to be a little more uh, connected to the figure. When we started out to make the Macquarie six scale Vader, we were faced with which head were we going to go with because Macquarie had done two rough concept designs and then we decided that we would use both of them and have switch out heads for the figure. We took into account the authenticity but you know in the same way that Ralph McQuarrie himself was kind of exploring the elasticity of the designs and we're doing the same type of thing but enhance it and explore the design a little bit further in ways that he maybe was not ever able to fully kind of conceive of. We're all fans of McQuarrie's artwork but getting together and finally knowing that we're going to be making a product, it's a big priority on us to get these things done right. It's great to be able to go back to the original source material and celebrate where it all started. Not just where it ended up being or the super polished version, but what could have been. I think that what customers can expect from a sideshow Ralph McQuarrie representation is the manifestation of the original idea.